Good morning, boys and girls. Um, today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Let's say that together. Today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Awesome job. We are gonna have Mrs. Coleman read us another book today. Um, it's another Clifford book, which is really exciting. And it's a book about Clifford helping out the fire department. And if you remember, when the fire department came to visit us, they gave us a rule whenever there was a fire. And it was three things that you have to do. And I want you to think in, those, in your brain what you remember those three things to be. Clifford talks about it in his book. Um, but once you finish reading the entire book, I want to see if you can make a video of yourself retelling me the story. So you don't have the book in front of you. You have to use your listening ears and listen to Mrs. Coleman read. And then when it's done, you need to tell me what happened first, next, and last. And don't forget, every story has a problem. There's a problem in the story. And then Clifford helps to solve that problem. So don't forget that um, at the end, he helps to solve the problem and tell me how that's done. So. Without further ado, here's Mrs. Coleman reading um, a Clifford book. Have a great day. Good morning, class. I'm excited to be here today and read Clifford the Firehouse Dog by Norman Bridwell. My name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog Clifford. Clifford is not the oldest in his family, but he's the biggest. Last week, Clifford and I went to the city to visit Clifford's brother, Nero. Clifford knew the way. Nero lives in a firehouse. He is a fire rescue dog. I asked the firefighters if Clifford could help them. They thought he was the right color for the job. Just then, a group of school children came in for a fire safety class. Nero showed them what to do if their clothing was on fire. Stop, drop, roll. To smother the flames, you stop, drop to the floor, and roll until the fire is out. Clifford thought he could do that. He repeated the lesson for the class. He stopped, he dropped, he rolled. He rolled a little too far. Just then, we heard the siren. There was a fire. Nero stayed to guard the children. Clifford and I ran ahead. He cleared the street for the fire trucks. Smoke was pouring from the top floor of a tall building. Clifford pushed the crowd back to a safe place. He saw some people in trouble. Clifford to the rescue. The heavy hose was hard to unreal. Clifford gave the firefighters a hand. But then he saw that the fire hydrant was stuck shut. Thank goodness Clifford was there to unstick it. They had to get the smoke out of the building. Clifford made a hole in the roof. The firefighters were calling for more water. Clifford found some. He helped clear the smoke away. When the fire was out, Clifford made sure that the firefighters got out of the building safely. They were grateful for everything he had done to help. We gave some firefighters a ride back to the firehouse. Clifford was a hero. The fire chief made him an honorary fire rescue dog, just like his brother Nero. The end. Thanks for letting me read to you guys today.